Hello YouTube and welcome back to We Happy Few. Um, I'm going to be starting a new campaign because if you haven't realized, this game is actually fully released now and it's com a completed game. And holy crap, I never thought I was actually going to see this game get completed. And I am so happy they, they picked it back up and started trying to finish it. Because it's been so long since the early release and then just nothing new really happened for a while, you know. There was no main story, uh, it was all just really sandbox and there was really no action or any real direction for you to go in to complete the game or even attempt to do anything within the game. So, without rambling too much, we're going to start the game and get to it. So, I believe for the most part it's still almost the same, but it's there's a storyline to it now. Um, there's actually a, a direction you have to go in, which is pretty dope. I like that. I love that a lot. So, we're just going to skip this, because we've, we've seen that before. Yeah, so you take the joy, and the game pretty much ends right there. Right. It's pretty, it's, a choice. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Like, that's the whole game right there. That's your direction. You know, it's amazing. Snug as a bug on a drug. Snug as a bug on a drug. It's amazing. Woo! All right, everybody. That was We Happy Few. Um, I'm glad you came along with me on this journey. This, this was a great game. Uh, five out of ten, most definitely. Uh, you know, it's the highest ranking I could ever possibly give a game. Um, <laughs> uh, seriously though, <laughs> um, if you've ever played the game before, that's that's always been in the game. Pretty dope. I like I like how they did that, and I liked how they kept that in there. We're just gonna skip that. We're gonna remember. We're gonna remember everything. Remember, Arthur. Pussy. Pussy. So, something bad happened, and we don't exactly know what happened to his brother. All we know is something happened to his brother, and, you know, and it's what have you been up to? basically forcing no, him to remember. For hours. Oh, nose to the grindstone, you know. Then why haven't I heard a single whoosh through the door since ten o'clock? Did you forget we're having Deirdre's birthday party? Oh. We've got a pinata. Right. Brilliant. Of course. Have you forgotten your joy? No, of course no. not. Snug as a bug on a drug. Well, come on then, finish up. Uh, just have a few more pages. I, I know you're very busy. Then don't take too long to finish. Is there a hair uh -huh. change? The power cell's empty. Well, what will you do? Because right now we'll she has the one. bun. I feel like I feel like her hair changes later. But we'll get to that in a moment. There we go. And we're going to put the new power cell on and restore the machine. Look at that. Amazing. There is now a curfew in effect at night. Any civilian will speak with What are we going to do, Arthur? She's, she's we're watching. brothers. We'll look out for each other. She's watching. We're That's gonna, what we're going do. to accept the document. Happy society is built on a happy past. Most definitely. <laughs> well. I expect you in the conference room presently. Don't dawdle. You don't want to don't miss the pinata. Dawdle. Don't dawdle. Um, wasn't Prudence supposed to be coming back today? Uh, I made her a welcome back card. Uh, General Robert Payne, the mun municipal lands of occupational authority period. Okay. Um, fuck it. Let's let's censor right. it. Yeah, they they, people need, need to know that. The Redactor. A drug trial qualified success, says Sir Robert. Yes, let's accept that. I think we can look with that. Oh, 
All right, and she's gone. Holy shit. Okay, so it's Friday 9th, October 1964. It's a very important date to remember because there's a lot of stuff that comes that comes along that actually has dates, and you should you know probably keep that in mind. It's the 9th of, of October, Friday. But that that's pretty dope. I don't think they actually had this part of the map um, up. That's actually kind of cool. I don't think they had that. Because I don't remember seeing that. It, it looked from before, I thought it was just a, a brick wall or some shit out there. But, uh, apparently not anymore. Nothing in the file. Well, I can't unlock my own filing cabinets? Okay. Nothing in there. Um. Okay, so let's just go on ahead and go. Do you think the canister wonders what life's like outside the tube? Well, if it was alive, maybe. Of course he'd have to break the tube to get out. That would break it for everybody. Alright, so um, I do have a confession. I tried to play this, um, and I, I recorded it, but for whatever reason, it only recorded the audio. It didn't actually record the gameplay. So I'm going to try my best to reenact all my initial Cry reactions. Earth whistle. Uh, while playing this You're game. You're for the party, aren't you? Oh, oh no, uh, uh, a letter fell on the ground? I wonder how that got there. Well, I guess we have to read it. <laughs> oh, look, Miss Bing has written Clive a letter. Dear Miss Bertwistle, <laughs> Bertwistle, it is so thoughtful of you to suggest how best to rearrange the department. I am always grateful for suggestions from junior staff of how best to do my job as director. However, I am afraid that it would be destabilizing to swap your office with that of Mr. Hastings. Fortunately, turnover in this department is high. If Prue doesn't return soon, I don't see why you couldn't have her office. In the meantime, I suggest you pop another joy and you'll feel the sunshine on your face, whether you have a window or not. All the best, Victoria Bing, Director. Take that, Clive, you little shit. <laughs> wow. Uh, anything in these following cabinets? Oh, we need to read that letter. And here's a letter in what I am almost positive is Clive's terrible handwriting. I, b I believe that's you talking. I'm pretty sure. Um, and then the open, or yeah, the quotes right here is what the letter says. Dear Director Bing, one of your employees is a subversive and may even be a downer. I overheard him in the commissary telling a friend that he thinks that his job redacting old articles is silly. And what's so scary about the truth? He is very tall and slim with black hair and brown eyes and glasses. I know I should have asked his name, but I am a naturally shy woman. And... And... There it leaves off. A shy woman. Are you, Clive? Or just a nasty, manipulative schemer? So apparently, Clive is a bitch. We're gonna take that. They don't need that. Uh... I believe this was Prudence's office. Whatever happened to you, Prudence? Oh, welcome back. And then it says, come back. Wow. So I'm pretty sure this is the point where you start having like withdrawals. I mean, that's what it looks like. And then it goes back to kind of colorful. So I'm pretty sure he's having withdrawals right here. Um, there's a waste bin. Nothing in the waste bin. You're not coming back, are you, Prue? Probably not. But where did you go? So, you kind of discover what happens to Prudence uh, in just a minute. Um, however, uh, it's they changed it from the original game. And I'll, I'll let you know where they changed it from. It no, seems no, like they wanted to take a different direction than joy. what originally happened. No, oh, withdrawals. No. Ooh. Hey, 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 you don't have to sell me out like that. Hey, wait, look, look, wait, 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 wait. 
No! Wait! Oh shit. Open the door! Well, damn. We seem to be a bit behind in our work now that you mention it. Yeah. Seems to be pretty behind in, in a lot of stuff. I mean, look at that. Uh. Oh, I got a power cell, I think. I didn't have choice to feel any better either. See, well, and I think I that's new as well. I embraced the challenge and was soon discovered that fresh vegetables would cure the problem right away. Yeah, that's but that's new. How do you get fresh veg on a um, at least I don't remember it. I've well, been there before. It doesn't seem like he comments on that anymore. He used to say, well, it looks like we need to get that fixed or something. Wait, can I kick the balloon? No, I cannot. Is there a party going on in here? Or what? There you are. You nearly missed the piñata. It's the most adorable Spanish custom. Uncle Jack did a whole show about it. You smash it until all See, right the sweets here, right come here, out. I think her hair changes. Come on, hit it, hit it, hit it. See, it looks like it changes, but it, it, I don't think it actually does. Really smack this it. Point. It's, it's just her ponytail's down. See, it looks more down than it did before. Let's see, oh, that's gross. You are off your joy. Take one of mine. No, no. I'm okay. Oh I'd much rather not read her. He's read a downer. Call security. We've got a downer. Take your joy. No, 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 no. <laughs> Why are these tongues so tight? Jesus Christ. Oh god. Run! Oh, that's locked. So this cutscene is, you know, pretty much the same thing. Before. They didn't really change the cutscene at all. You smoke gas? Flaming Nora. Forget him, there's no time! So I think they robbed me too. Wow. Okay. So... Uh, this is Christ. definitely... Uh, I thought those bosses chased me. They were bridges, weren't they? And tunnels. I'm pretty sure I'm not in the parade anymore. I don't even think I'm still in the village. Yeah, so you used to be able to go through this door. I'm not going out that way. It spawned you past this door. Um, you didn't wake up here. This makes a little bit more sense. They would leave you where you were knocked out. And then this is the way you came. But it's locked too. So. Those bobbies seem to have locked me in. I suppose they were worried about the gas. Terribly thoughtful of them. And now you have to walk down through here, you know, which kind of makes it a little bit more immersive, I guess. And now at the area which you spawned in from when they first had it, the game uh, made, or when they first released it in early release, is completely different area now. However, uh, still pretty much you have to find the same stuff. You have to find some stuff to make uh, a lockpick. Um, you find a couple of coins, some currency. I'm gonna turn that off because that's annoying. Um, yeah, you, you find a couple of pretty neat stuff down here uh, when you first start off. Um, yeah, there's somebody down here with us too, somewhere. Uh, there's, ooh, there's something in the toilets. All right, we got another coin. Medical supplies. Uh, oh, there's medicine cabinets. Oh, we got some in that one. Uh, nothing else. Okay, so what is this? Oh, prudence right here. Okay, so um, remember, uh, remember how I said something different happened to prudence uh, in, whenever the game first got uh, early released. Uh, you actually found Prudence 
committed suicide down here by hanging herself. But this seems like they have a different direction, and I'll show you what I mean reading this. Okay, yeah, so she left this note down here, and it seems like they have a different direction for her. So I'm not quite sure if you'll meet her later in the game, or or what happened, or if she just ran away, so, you know, they wanted to take a less uh, negative approach to it. But it's a very negative game altogether with a pretty dark uh, history, or, yeah, dark... Uh, yeah, a lot of dark content, I guess, is what the word I was looking for. But, uh, yeah, it seems like they want to head in a different direction. So, let me read this and you'll understand. Was this a mistake? It seems so clever to disappear first, rather than trying to brazen my way across the bridge. After enough joy, they'd forget they'd ever known a Prudence Holmes beastly Clive would take my office and they'd forget anyone else was ever in it. But now that I'm here, I wonder, should I have put my trust in Mr. Kite? And where are his bloody instructions in the abandoned house? Yes, but which abandoned house? They're all abandoned. And how do I deal with all these wastrels? My god, they look like something out of Dante. We'd chase someone out whenever they wouldn't take their joy, but we never really thought about where they went. I knew we'd chase them out when joy made them sick, but I didn't know it was here to starve and weep and remember. I assumed they were sent to a sanatorium, a decent hospital, but I suppose that's what I wanted to believe. We are all complicit. We know without knowing and don't want to remember, so we don't. My God, I can't wait to get to the mainland. So yeah, I hope you kind of see they have a different, um, look, seems like they have a different angle for her. Maybe somewhere later in the game you meet her, but I don't know. So yeah, there's this new note, and I just found it after reading the Diary of Prudence. Um, and apparently, uh, this is what you're thinking right now, um, or were thinking whenever you woke up, or whatever. So, this is what it says. Well, Arthur, you've gone and done it, haven't you? Not only rather spectacularly quit your job, but you're a downer now. The townsfolk will unleash the hounds. Or they would if we hadn't eaten them twenty years ago. The wastrels do not seem terribly friendly. I hope they aren't really cannibals. Oh God, I'm one of them now, aren't I? I've got to get out of Wellington Wells. I've got to get over the bridge and get off the islands. Which means I've got to get back to the parade district, don't I? Which I was just chased out of. Brilliant question. What in a dog's name were you thinking? Answer. Percy. I saw his picture from just before we put them all on the train. God. All that horrible grinding steel and the screams. How he must hate me. Why did I tell the Jerry's I was already 13? They were only off by 10 days. Why didn't I keep my mouth shut and get on the train and go off to Germany with him like I promised him? I can't remember. But I promised him. That's got to mean something. I've got to go and find Percy, wherever he is, and make sure he's okay. P.S. How long have we been eating rats? Prudence really did run off, and she ran this way. I wonder if I'll see her again. Okay, so that was Prudence, what he was just talking about. And also, um, now we have a little bit more dialogue on, on what happened. I need some odds and bobs and bits of metal to me. We also have a little bit more inf info on what happened to his brother. Um, apparently he went off to Germany, and you didn't go with him. So now I guess what our goal is to try to get off the islands and get to Come Germany. On, there we go. 
Three years of the salamander and me getting into constant trouble finally pay off. All right, so we got the lockpick made. So uh, you're, there's a possibility of your brother still being alive. So we're gonna find out what happened, what with happened that. to him. We're gonna pick oh, that up. Who? Uh, yeah. Uh, Rupert Underhill. Okay. I believe he wrote something over here that we just never picked up. Yep. 4th of October, 1964. This was just a few days ago, guys. To Mr. Rupert Underhill Station 4. The guy on the floor. Alright. From Jim Watt, Chief Engineer. Dear Rupert, Are you quite certain Teddy's off his joy? Perhaps he merely forgot. You've got to look after your mates, man. Have you tried tying a string around his finger? That's always helped me. Anyway, I can't reassign Teddy because I haven't gotten a replacement. All the juniors are off at Scar Gill. The subsidence has been severing all sorts of connections, and the Montellini, I guess I said that right, must flow. I really appreciate your sticking by your post. If we don't do our duty, who are we? But try the string around the finger. I feel certain you will manage the situation. All the best, Jimmy. Alright, so apparently something happened. Uh, I guess Rupert um, forgot to give his joy to some, or his friend didn't take his joy or something. I don't know. Something like that along those lines. Ooh, we can pick up those bobby pins. Uh, I don't see anything else we need to pick up, so. Alright, let's go back to where we were. Is there anything over here that we need to pick up? Coins, okay. Search the desk and there's nothing. I, I don't think I searched this one. Nope, there's nothing in there either. So I want to know how he died. That's kind of what I want to know. Pick up syringe. What is that? Oh. Promises. Half may go to hurt us. No one's going to hurt you, Percy. I, I promise. But, but, but they hurt the city. I don't think they'll blow anything else up. Why? Because we surrendered, I hope. Well, what are we going to do, Arthur? We're brothers. I'll look out for... We'll look out for each other. So apparently you just had a memory or something like that. Uh, they added memories now to where you can remember events, I guess, once you find that... Uh, whatever it is. Uh... Oh, okay, you can stash stuff. Basically, you can go to another pneumatic stash and it will be wherever I go. Um, Diary of Theodore Minor. Let's read that. September 18th. I looked into the lights like the doctors ordered. I could swear I see shapes in there, moving around, like shadows, but made of light. And there's shadows all around, always around the corner. He keeps turning the lights off, says he wants to save the bulbs. He's trying to make me think I'm going blind, isn't he? How he loves to feel superior. September 19th. Took two, Joy, just so I could stand his ugly face. Why well, won't it work? Has he swapped them out for something? Paracentamol? Jelly beans? Jesus. I haven't had jelly beans since. Have we ever had jelly beans? September 20th. I hate when he talks in that slow, condescending voice, like I'm a child. I'm not a child. Am I? I don't even know any children. Obviously. Jeez. What is wrong with my joy? September 22nd. There he is, scratching away in the corner. Scribble, scribble, scribble. Eh, hey, Mr. Gibbon? 
and then the whoosh from the pneumatic tube. He's blaming it all on me what happened, isn't he? He says it's his missus. I don't believe he's got a missus with that big mossy teeth of his. I bet she went on holiday long ago. Was I married once? How did it end? I get an awful feeling in my stomach. I'm not sure I'm going to enjoy remembering. Something is all fucked up about the joy. And he won't send me home. We've got to stay here. Duty. September 25th. I can hear him crunching in the dark. It isn't rats. It's his big, mossy teeth. I lie awake and picture squeezing his throat till he turns the color of my carrots he bloody well stole. He's plotting something. September 28th. Let him try to weasel out of this one. I saw him writing those lies. Reassign me, will he? Off my joy, am I? I'm bloody well tripling up, and he knows it! October 6th. Now, this was two days ago, guys. No, three days ago, because it's, it's 9th of October today. In the game. We've come to the end of our time. We've come to the end of our time. We've come to the end of our time! He's probably screaming that, but I don't really want to scream, because it's... I'm, uh, you know, it's late at night, and I don't want to wake up my neighbors. <laughs> so, um, he's talking about this guy over here. I'm pretty sure, because he's the one that wanted to reassign him. So, now we know what happened, but where is Theodore? That's the next question. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Oh, right, 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 I'm supposed to hack this. And... Bam. Unlocked. Wait, what? Thank you. Oh, shit. Hey. Keep calm! Ow. You want to? Well, you want to go? You want to go? You want to go? Come on. Mm. Mm. That's right. Yeah. That's the first fight I've won since primary school. <laughs> Actually, I think it's the first fight I've been in since primary school. Right. Uh. Yeah, I haven't gotten into a fight since high school, so I want to press that button, and that opens up the hatch. Hooray! If you haven't uh, been able to tell, I am a little annoyed. I have to go through all this again because my, you know, my computer didn't want to record properly. So that's a rotten carrot. I don't think we want to pick that up. Um, ooh, I forgot that chest was down here. Uh, so I can't read any of this. Um, I don't know what it says, because those two right there, they look like E's, and then there's like, I think that's like a K, and a Y, Keezy, something like that, or, I don't know, Key, but, I don't know, if anybody knows what that says, you know, that probably, um, might help out, that might be a clue to something, who knows, I don't really know going this way and we got a carrot that we can eat now I do th I do think if you don't eat the food um, in a certain amount of time it does become rotten so they do spoil uh, and this is for fast traveling too bad I don't have any other hatches to go to just yet all right so now we're gonna exit the safe house Bridge. I've got to get to the bridge in the parade district, which I just got chased out of. Brilliant. Ah, Brilliant. the train station. 
If I can get to the train station, I can just follow the old rail tunnel all the way to the bridge. It'd be nice if there was a map, wouldn't it? I suppose back in those days we could remember where things were. Yeah, right. Totally remember. Okay, so um, there's a several things you'll probably notice uh, now um, uh, with the full release. The first thing I noticed was the map. The map has immensely changed, and holy crap, none of this was here before. Absolutely none of this. It uh, most of the backstory is like there was a war or whatever that happens. And, you know, I'm pretty sure it was like, you know, uh, what was it, the World War One or something like that? Uh, or World War Two? It was probably World War Two. I'm not very good with remembering the dates of the wars. Oh. This is Hello? the benefit of Mr. Kite. The rabbit got into the garden. The rabbit got into the garden. Sounds like some sort of secret message. So, apparently, um... That was to Mr. Kite, if you remember from the note, uh, Prunus was talking about Mr. Kite. Uh, so, that sounds like a secret message for something like the rabbit got into the garden, so that might be something we have to remember later, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Like I was saying about the map, the map is, is absolutely crazy. This looks... I think this might be the one Sally and me tried to blow up. Crazy. I always wonder what happened to the letters. There was an awful lot of smoke. A rock. We got a rock now. Okay. So yeah, it definitely looks more like a war has been here. I believe this is German. I don't know what it says. It's either German or uh, French. But I'm pretty sure it's German. Just from the way that way it looks. But um, I can't jump over the rubble. Okay. Yeah, this map has immensely changed. Another thing you'll notice uh, it kind of tells you where you need to go, so it's a little bit more linear. So, like I said, there's more of a story now, which is amazing. I am coming for you, Percy. I haven't got it all figured out, but I will find you. Okay. Uh... You have to be crazy to be sane in this world. What the fuck? That's creepy. Alright, so, my first playthrough when I came through here, I actually thought this was a person. But it's not. Can I take his hat? No. But that creeped me out because I thought it's like people were having a tea party. But it's even weirder than that. Somebody set up a tea party. Tea party. Nanny's tea party. Do come in your finery. Remember your manners. Creepy. But delightful. Okay. Uh, so we can keep going this way. Wait. I think we can pick these up. Oh, I can't pick those up yet? Okay. A Rose of Gilead. Huh. Percy told me about these. They're good for wounds and things. Okay. Maybe I can make some sort of ointment to put on my wounds. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll never feel better. Yeah. There we go. Uh, I was stuck in the map for a second. What the hell? Okay. Alright, so let me make that ointment. Go ahead, craft. Healing bomb. There we go. And now I can heal myself somehow. Bam, okay. Much better. It works. I feel loads better. Loads better. Percy was never wrong about a thing like that. He's never wrong. Ain't got nothing in here. Alright, so we gotta keep walking this way. Nice things. Thank you. My uncle bought it for me last Christmas. Anxious to get back home to the village? Well, I... Uh, well, I live in the parade. <laughs> you won't get past that door. Not without one of them disposable electrical cars that all the bobbies have. And a power cell. Know where I could mug a bobby? Ho 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 ho. You're a brave one, aren't you? No. I'll trade you one. Don't you want to go back home? 
home to all those bastards who chased me out of my house. When they all catch the plague and die, then I'll go back. There's something I want a whole lot more. Those bastards in that camp over there. Those bastards. With the helmets and the proper weapons. They took something from me. You get them back for me. I'll give you my card. Sounds quite dangerous, isn't it? Of course it's bloody dangerous. That's why I'm paying you. Come and find me in that sort of hamlet over there. We'll trade. All right. Well, what are they? My medals. From the war. I won the DSO at Dunkirk. And the Victoria Cross at Ramsgate. Those bastards. They thought it was funny that I still had them. Fucking funny they thought it was. No, I only need a power cell to fire this thing up. Who'd have stole most of those too? Right. Well, I'll see what I can do. All right. Well, off I go to a camp of robbers. Maybe I can defeat them with my rapier sharp wit. Can you defeat them with my wit? I will. Um. So yeah. Let's go, let's go beat up some robbers then. Heaven's alive. It's a bloody fortress. Yeah, uh, it looks like a trail. Just follow the trail. And we're in. What's in here? Take up more bobby pins. And we're in. Alright, so this is pretty much where I left off whenever I first tried this playthrough. Um, unfortunately, it didn't want to record the screen last time so I had to redo everything and so I hope you guys enjoyed that if you want to go ahead and like this video if you like the video and then subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of me putting anything else on this channel I do reads and I want to try to do reads at least uh, every Friday if not every other Friday but uh, my reads will be up at 8 a.m. Um, Pacific time so uh, that would be 10 a.m. Central Time if you're in the Central Area. But uh, yeah, I want to play more of this game. I'll probably post more of this game, like probably like every other day. Maybe I don't know. I'll figure that out. But I definitely want to play more of this game. So uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.